how's that supposed to work? Which makes me end up sounding like an overbearing jerk. Yes, it's a drag to always be the lonely skeptic in the room. I have to speak my mind when pseudoscience starts to bloom. Although I try to hold my tongue, I just can't make it quit. Cause people sure believe some crazy shit. My friend Dennis, he's a scholar. His tech skills are him top dollar. Just a few short years ago, Dennis saw a UFO. Now he says they're all around us. Aliens, in fact, surround us. Probably they're living right next door. I say, Dennis, tell me, buddy, help me understand. How can there be flying saucers buzzing round the land? How come every single sighting seems to come in lousy lighting? I could sure accept the truth with valid photographic proof. When you saw those lights a blinking, had you maybe just been drinking? Dennis doesn't call me anymore. It's always such a drag to be the skeptic in the room. I stake my keys and watch the room go silent as a tomb. Cause I'm the one who always says, how's that supposed to work? Which makes me end up sounding like an overbearing jerk Yes, it's a drag to always be the lonely skeptic in the room I have to speak my mind when pseudoscience starts to bloom Although I try to hold my tongue, I just can't make it quit Cause people sure believe some crazy shit Brittany, she's a modern lady, rather green and quite new age. She claims her latest malady was cured by homeopathy. She says it has magic rules. She takes some wholesome molecules, dissolve them in the purest H2O. Brittany took this grand concoction and her pain was fixed. Come again, I had to say just what was in that mix. If it works well, what would then be water? Has selective memory, knows the good but not the shit that ever was dissolved in it. Thanks to science, here's what we know, really. It's a big placebo. Brittany told me just where I can go. It's always such a drag to be the skeptic in the room. I state my case and watch the room go silent as a tune. Cause I'm the one who always says, how's that supposed to work? Which makes me end up sounding like an overbearing jerk. Yes, it's a drag to always be the lonely skeptic in the room. I have to speak my mind when pseudoscience starts to bloom Although I try to hold my tongue, I just can't make it quit Cause people sure believe some crazy shit I have a friend, no doubting Thomas, quite devout and really honest Says despite what we've been told, the earth is really not that old He will look no wiser, wherefore says her holy books are there For earth was born 6,000 years ago To contradict you, Thomas, I admit to feeling grief But maybe there's some evidence to counter your belief like chemistry, biology, astronomy, anatomy, astrophysics, botany, geology, zoology, molecular biology, and physics, physiology. Thomas says, so what, they'll burn in hell. It's always such a drag to be the skeptic in the room. I state my case and watch the room go silent as a tune, cause I'm the one who always says, how's that supposed to work? Which makes me end up sounding like an overbearing jerk Yes, it's a drag to always be the lonely skeptic in the room I have to speak my mind when pseudoscience starts to bloom Although I try to hold my tongue, I just can't make it quit Cause people sure believe some scary shit My young neighbors Dave and Tina talked about how they had seen a former Playboy pinup queen speaking out against vaccines. Now they think it's realistic, so that no one grows autistic, not to vaccinate their little kids. Dave, please listen now before it really is too late. Don't take health advice from one to whom you used to masturbate. Beauty queens have certain assets, science really ain't their strong set. You should get a good assist from a working scientist. Guys, I won't speak gingerly, cause this could cause great injury. The right thing is what Dave and Tina did. So it's not always such a drag 
to be the skeptic in the room. Sometimes I state my case and find that people will consume. Though I'm the one who always says, how's that supposed to work? It doesn't have to mean that I'm an overbearing jerk. No, it's not bad to always be the lonely skeptic in the room. But I'll still speak my mind when pseudoscience starts to bloom. Oh, I try to hold my tongue. I know I'll never quit. Cause people do believe. And man, do they believe. Yes, people do believe some crazy shit. Shit. And now a minute to tell you about our sponsor, Audible.com. Audible.com is offering listeners of Brainstorm a free audiobook download and a free 30-day trial membership. Membership gives you reduced prices on over 150,000 titles for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player and costs $14.95 per month after the first free month. I just signed up a few weeks ago and I'm right now listening to Skepticism 101 with Michael Shermer from the Great Courses Lecture Series. For your 30-day free trial membership, and free audiobook, go to audibletrial.com slash brainstorm. That's audibletrial.com slash brainstorm. Do you want to help make the Brainstorm podcast self-sustaining? For just $1 an episode, you can. Go to patreon.com slash brainstorm podcast and become a patron or go to gumroad.com slash brainstorm and pay whatever you want for individual episodes. Support of $35 or more will get you a t-shirt with the Brainstorm logo on it. If you can't give any money, that's fine. Give us a rating and write us a review on iTunes or Stitcher. For a limited time, we are offering a Brainstorm t-shirt to the first person to review us on either podcatcher. If you just like listening and want to keep up with the show, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out our website, brainstormblog.net. We are given one life full of billions of small and large decisions to be somebody, to change, to be kind, to give hope, to become a better person, and to leave a lasting impact on this planet. It is a decision to be made every single day while your heart is still beating. We've made our decision. Absence of clothing. Atheist and science-based apparel and merchandise. Donating 50% of our profits to charity. Look good and feel good, without God. Check us out at absenceofclothing.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest for discount codes and other sweet swag. Use the code BRAINSTORM at absenceofclothing.com and get 10% off. And now on to the second part for the, from the episode recorded on June 14th with Mike, Lana, Renee, and Dave. We got a story that uh, an actual listener <laughs> sent. but uh, Really? <laughs> Yeah, but it actually requires some thought and reading. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm not sure we can do it justice. Depends. Is Trin- it on neuroscience? Trinity. <laughs> no. Damn. <laughs> Trinity Western Law School rejected oh, yes. by BC lawyers. Oh, I heard I, about this. I know yes. about this. Good. Well, thank nobody. <laughs> Somebody knows about it. Yeah. I was vaguely aware of it. What's I had the story? heard that ba- ba- they my understanding, made a decision. My understanding of it is, is that there's this law school in BC. What they try to do is they teach, they're training all these people to be lawyers, but they base it on not on the word of law or interpretation of law, the interpretation of morality of the law through the lens of the Bible. Yeah. So it's kind of like Christian Sharia that's not, law. That's not a thing you can do. I think they <laughs> go even further, though, when they don't allow homosexual uh, relations on you campus. You know, I, to be honest with that, I'd never I really think, read in I think that's further I into exactly yeah. specifics. It's, it's just yeah. that's what I understood it was. It's a Bible college. It's a Bible yeah. college. That, that is trying to get into putting out secular level degrees in legit things, not just, I have a degree in Bible studies. And that well, becomes a problem. Well, they're you... trying to argue law from, through the lens of the Bible, which. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, they do still well, swear on the stupid thing during some court things. So, yeah, uh, that's yeah. true. <laughs> law can't be formalized. 
you do have to interpret it in some sense. So you're going to have to look at the law and say, well, you know, it, there's, it says that uh, you can't drive vehicles through the park. You know, maybe it's because it's too noisy, too disruptive. So this guy was riding a skateboard through the park. Is that a vehicle? So then you argue about it. And the thing is, the law doesn't include that interpretation. The law isn't formalizable. You still have to interpret it. So, I mean, there's some argument, well, the Bible is as good a lens as any to interpret the law through, which is, of course, false. But you can sort of see that position. You have to interpret it through some sort of practical or moral lens. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, what is the basis on which they are being rejected, though, according to the uh, BC it, I think it, uh, this one, it sounds like it's because uh, they don't accept homosexual students. That's what I had heard. It's, it's basically on civil rights grounds Yeah, that that they're saying, no, you don't get accreditation for your program, Although, which, it, which is a very problematic for any you know, Bible college. That is tr- basically they want to be able to give students credits that are transferable to universities, or that are is a recognized degree that's useful, you know, out in the rest of the world. And yep, that's that's problematic. And I don't, yeah. I don't really support, you know, letting these the the you know whether it's Christian high schools or Christian churches start getting, you know, government perks and all these accreditations for programs when when you know they can arbitrarily fire anyone who disagrees with them. Yeah. And they don't have, you know, at least the U of S and U of R has the appearance of of the um, appearance the, the <laughs> appearance of being, you know, having some academic integrity and letting people think for themselves. I'd go so far as to say they have some they have some. <laughs> they at least have a veneer yes. of academic integrity. Sure, but the the Bible colleges absolutely that, do not. That sounds akin to uh, pretending that naturopaths are real doctors, right? You know, it's the it same is. sort of thing. And that's, or chiropractors are real doctors. Sure, it may as well be a naturopath. That's the same mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, I, I had a friend like studying in one of these places, and they had some degree in like divine psychology or some weird shit like that is, that, just, is that like the what <laughs> angels think or? well i don't know like yeah it was like about like incorporating healing and prayer into like some of that stuff right and mm-hmm. i don't know it was weird like i was kind of like oh yeah have yeah. some sexual urges yeah. read yeah. the bible yeah and then the awful part is she's like she's an amazing person very friendly and very intelligent actually surprisingly like it's just i was just like why do you fall for this it's nonsense but but that's a degree that she was getting and spending money on and, you know, now certified to do what? I'm not sure. But uh, Yeah. She's certified to pray the gay away. That's probably about it. Yeah, yeah or maybe, like yeah. a yeah. church counselor or something. And I think that's what she's doing yeah. now in, in Manitoba is working at some thing like that. Christian counseling that's organizations. Yeah. 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 There's maybe plenty of those. A, a Christian school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably. Maybe giving degrees in divinity and something. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> right. Can always be a professor. Yeah. So we can just make up whatever we want and call yeah. it a university. I guess the church. Yeah. Is- <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that has been done. Yeah. University yeah. of Phoenix. <laughs> right. Get your degree but online. They have pictures on the pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't actually know a lot about this stuff. So I was just reading there. Yeah, they they, they forbid. Um, same sex relations and and right. sex before marriage actually on campus. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Sure. Yeah, it's yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Well, I think wow. it was Dave Richards had posted something I saw on his Facebook about um, you know the the um, separate schools and the the French school or not the French schools but the Catholic schools that are paid for by our taxes, but that. You know, are discriminatory, discriminatory towards gays, yeah. and um, you would think in Canada that that would those rights would supersede the rights of you know the, the this one particular religion to get um, state sponsored um, extra special rights. Yeah, no, there's there's quite a bit of uproar coming from the atheist community, at least about the Catholic school system and how it's still being funded by tax dollars. It's kind of a contradictory 
kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Which is just, it's related. It's, it's 